Hi, I'm David and in this video I'm going to talk to you about how to make tech review videos on YouTube in 2017 and we're starting right now. What? What do you mean I don't have an intro? Turns out we really are starting right now. We're not going to worry too much about the camera. We're going to focus a bit more on the lens. You're going to want to have a lens with a low f-stop number that we can get a nice blurry background of that around that product. If you don't have a low f-stop lens currently, we can look at a bit of improvisation options in composition and that type of thing. Next would be video tripods, sliders, that type of stuff. If you have these things, great, it's going to make your job a lot easier to get that b-roll, to get some smooth pans, to get that just have that real crisp effect, crisp look to your videos is going to be a lot easier. If you don't have that stuff just yet, we can look at a bit of improvisation ideas and you can sort of fake your way around getting that type of look, which can work quite well at the beginning. Some ideas on improvisation could be if you have a gorilla pod, that works well for improvisation. You can do all sorts of things with that type of stuff with a gorilla pod. If you have a belt, you can also use that. You can get some nice smooth pans. If you have a photo tripod, there's a hook underneath. Turning it upside down, you can turn this into a sort of a glide cam, which could give you some nice smooth shots as well. One of my favorites is to take a wide lens, take the product, take some wider photos of the product, and then you can just in post, you can zoom slowly in, you can zoom out, you can pan around, you can pan up, down, you can do all sorts of things with that in post and that make, gives you also a nice smooth crisp effect because you've got that still frame so you're not going to have any jitter. If you're not like me, you can probably do the next one. I drink a lot of coffee so my hands are a bit shaky so handheld might not be the best idea for me but for you if you can keep your hand quite still and you shoot in slow motion, you might be able to get some good B-roll footage handheld as well. Lighting. So with the lighting, basically all I can say is have good lighting. Doesn't matter where you get it. You could use studio lights with soft boxes, reflectors or even ring lights. Or you could just keep things simple and use sunlight with some styropore sheets that reflect the light onto your product or onto yourself. Just make sure that you've got good lighting, that's all really that I can say regarding that. Audio, that's pretty much the same as lighting. Don't record directly from your camera or from your laptop or any of that type of thing. Get a mic, even if it's just a lav mic that clips into your shirt or a shotgun mic or a USB mic. Use a mic, that way you're going to pick up crisper audio and you're going to be able to get your message across easier. Everything in life seems to have rules. Sport has rules, driving has rules, school has rules, the law, there's rule, everything has rules. And composition is no different. Here we have the rule of thirds. Basically, this is it. Stick to the rule of thirds, or if you prefer, just keep yourself centered in the frame. That's not such a big deal in terms of product reviews. If you want a pan or something like that, then the rule of thirds is a good idea and don't just leave your head floating somewhere in a corner or something like that because that's also not a very good idea. It's best to know these rules though because if you know the rules, you'll know how to break them properly. And all the rules can be broken properly. Same goes for editing, same goes for lighting, audio, all of that stuff. Everything can be broken properly. I'm not saying doing anything illegal now. Another thing about composition, when you're doing those zoomed in shots, of the product and you're doing that smooth crispy b-roll make sure that your background has got one sort of texture one sort of pattern you don't have too much different things that are distracting away from the product and the same goes for when you're busy talking about the product yourself and you've got the product in your hand or whatever and you're busy explaining the product make sure you don't have so much papers and all sorts of things lying around my background's about as jambled up as you'd want it to be Whilst we're at it, if you're going to make b-roll, make lots of it. And you're going to want to make b-roll. Make lots of b-roll, especially if you're doing voiceovers or most of your stuff is voiceovers, because you're probably going to need more than you think. So here, you're going to want to know your stuff. I know it sounds very simple and basic, but you're going to want to know what you're talking about. You're going to want to know your terminology. The easy to take off 
and on your dead cat or your sound your sound reflective god thing sponge whatever this thing's called the features that the product has and that type of stuff you're going to want to know any new product updates all that type of stuff at the very least you're going to want to know what the product's called this is the rode video micro the rode video mic pro the rode video mic the rode Mi and if you're talking about things it's best to be thorough don't be boring be thorough you don't want to have to edit some some things in later on or even worse have to add things in the description below or probably even worse be told important things in the comments below which is probably the worst because then you did not do a very good job of reviewing the, reviewing the product i'm probably going to get some comments below about things that i forgot to mention in this video so one more thing is when you're talking you want to keep your voice interesting you want to keep the audience engaged with you so you want to change the pace of your talking you want to go high you want to go low with your voice you don't want to talk on the same monotone because no one's going to be interested in that and they will probably go and watch another video because there are many tech videos out there which brings me to the most most important point you want to be unique I hope you find these tips helpful. If you do, let me know in the comments below. Hit that like button below. If you're not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. And I'm gonna see you in the next one. Ciao.